Hello friends, my name is Dr. Jyoti Prakash and I am Assistant Professor in the Department of Management School of Management Sciences, Lucknow. Now welcome you all to the video lecture that is based on the topic job evaluation and it is also one of the important function played by a human resource manager because uh, whenever an employee join any organization uh, his uh, or her expectation uh, is obviously towards the salary or towards the remuneration that he or she will get. So how the companies will evaluate fix the worth of the job. So it is all about playing the function of job evaluation so just start or just have an understanding on the concept that is job evaluation. So job evaluation is basically a systematic and orderly process of determining the worth of a job in relation to other jobs. Means it is one of the important function that uh, requires some uh, systematic uh, evaluation or systematic supervision or uh, systematic process of uh, determining uh, the job. Uh, by comparing the worth of other jobs uh, that is prevailing in the uh, scenario or in the industry or it tries to make a systematic comparison between jobs to assess their relative worth for the purpose of establishing a ra rational pay structure. Obviously, uh, uh, if, a, if any employee uh, join, is joining any organization, so obviously he or she compares or uh, feels uh, that whenever he or she is getting salary uh, that uh, that salary or that remuneration is fair or just as per the efforts or the skills that he or she is giving to towards the accomplishment of the uh, objective of the organization. So uh, it should be uh, being a human resource manager uh, uh, these factors uh, it is uh, the most crucial consideration uh, it should be the most crucial consideration from a human resource point of view. So. Uh, before fixing a, a worth of a particular job, it is very essential that uh, being a human resource manager you just try to gather information about uh, the pay structure of uh, the different in, uh, industry or other firms what they are giving to their employees uh, at the same post uh, or at the same level. So uh, before considering these things obviously you are able to fix or you are able to give justice to the employees or to the new hired one in, ton, in context of the remuneration or the salary aspect. So what are the features of job evaluation? So the first uh, feature of job evaluation is standards of job evaluation as a relative not absolute obviously because uh, whenever you are basically going to evaluate uh, or going to fix out or determine the worth of a particular job. So that should be done. Uh, on a particular on a standard on a predetermined standard not absolute means you are taking consideration of uh, the pay structure of other firms and uh, uh, in the industry and the also the scenario or the act what they are uh, allowing you to fix the worth of a particular job. So standards of job valuations are basically relative not absolute and uh, through job evaluation uh, Basically, a human resource manager or any organization basically tries to uh, uh, evaluate the job not people because uh, job evaluation is also uh, only deals in fixing the worth of a job not the worth of the people because uh, uh, whenever a new one or whenever uh, a perspective or a potential candidate is coming to your organization, he or she is must having an idea or the picture that how much worth he will he or she will get. So uh, that is somehow related to the job for what they have been hired by the organization. So one of the feature of job evaluation is it basically tries to assess job not people because it is all about fixing the worth of a, of a job not fixing the worth of an employee. The basis of job evaluation is jo uh, job evaluation is job analysis. As uh, in the earlier videos of uh, HRM, we have seen the concept of job analysis. Job analysis is all about analysis of a job in terms of job description and job specification. If we see or if we talk about job description, it describes the detailed uh, roles and responsibilities, duties and responsibilities that one individual has to perform, and the job specification. Uh, explain or refers uh, as the educational qualification and the personal traits required in order to fulfill or uh, in order to perform a particular job. So uh, the uh, 
basis of job evaluation is all about job analysis means how much or how complexity how an individual will face while performing the duties and responsibilities and how uh, which type of skill set and which type of qualification or which type of experience uh, required in order to complete that in order to justify that duties and responsibilities that gives a sense or that gives a picture to the human resource manager that how much worth he or she will fix uh, for a particular job for what any individual is being hired by the organization. So, uh, job evaluation the basis of job evaluation is obviously the job analysis. Job description means the level of or the complexities of the duties and responsibilities and the type of experience and the type of skill set required in order to perform that job that basically gives an idea about fix about the worth of that job means how much amount that individual should be given if that individual uh, will be hired on a particular post or on a particular job. And uh, job evaluation function is basically not performed by one individual, it is carried out by a group of people because it may happen that one individual because human resource manager or the concerned person or the evaluator is basically a human being and it may happen that some may error may uh, occur. So, and it is also an important consideration from a employer as well as employee point of view. So, uh, uh, there should not be any mistake happen while fixing the worth of a particular job. So, uh, before yeah, uh, we can say that while fixing the worth of a job, it is required that it should not be done by any single individual, it should be carried out by a group of people and a committee of people. In the latest slide of uh, uh, this video, we will see that how uh, uh, what is the meaning of that uh, this carried out by groups and not individual. But in reality, we have a sense that uh, group uh, fixing a worth is uh, 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 fixing a worth of a job is basically not an easy task. It requires some sort of skill and uh, requires some uh, careful uh, analysis. So uh, uh, it is not uh, possible for a single or a for a individual to perform this particular complex task. So that's why it is uh, for fixing or while fixing the worth of a particular job, it is carried out by a group of people so that any mistake may not happen or may not done while determining the worth of any job. So these are the features of job evaluation. The next is merits of job evaluation. So, obviously, if this particular function is performed by a human resource manager or uh, any organization, so there are certain plus points associated with this particular method that if you uh, being an employer or being a human resource manager, if you are uh, giving justice or you if you are uh, fixing the worth of a job in an appropriate manner. So, by doing so, you are trying to maintain a harmonious relationship between the employees and the manager means they are having a sense or they are holding a perception that the organization is not doing any injustice with us and they are taking care of our skills, our contribution, our efforts, uh, our uh, performance. So, uh, by considering all these things, we are getting the fair and justifiable amount by the organization for a particular job. So, uh, this particular sense creates a harmonious relationship between the employees and the manager. The second merit of job evaluation is standardization. Obviously, uh, uh, in one of the method of job evaluation is like classification method in which uh, all the groups are basically cl classified into certain grades and uh, certain class. So, uh, on that particular grade or related to th that particular class, all the all the people who are working on the same level, they are getting the same amount in fact. So, job evaluation is giving, uh, introducing a standardization or doing a standardization in, in each and every job available in the organization. Uh, relevance of new job means, uh, uh, being a human resource manager while determining the worth of a job, you are also getting an idea that uh, if any newer job will be introduced in the organization, what can be the worth of their, uh, their, uh, their uh, jobs in fact, those jobs in fact. So, it, it is somehow gives a relevance uh, for uh, the new jobs uh, that may be introduced by the organization in future time or in coming time. Specialization means uh, 
uh, as I told earlier that uh, job evaluation basically creates some sort of grade and some uh, gives some ranking. So, uh, uh, rank 1 or grade 1 basically refers to those employees who are basically expert in that particular area, in a particular area or in uh, a particular skill set. So, somehow by doing so, you are also creating a specialized a uh, workforce uh, in your organization and if you are if you are having specialized or expert workforce in their particular area. So, obviously, you may uh, uh, find you may find ease in tackling any type of situation in future or in coming time in fact and job evaluation basically helps out in selection of employees how because job evaluation also uh, uh, gives a figure or gives a uh, gives a figure or gives an idea about the amount that should be paid to that individual if that individual will be hired so uh, while uh, selecting that individual you are understanding the skill set and the expertise of that individual and somehow uh, whenever you compare the skill set and the competency of that individual with that relative worth that you are going to that individual somehow that will help you being a human resource manager that will help you out in selecting any individual uh, who are suited to that particular job. So, these are basically some of the merits of job evaluation. So, the next one is demerits of job evaluation like problem of adjustment unrealistic opposition by workers. Opposition of workers we if we talk about like uh, if it is job evaluation is not done in a proper manner in an adequate manner. So, somehow oh, it will create a dispute and it will be opposed by the trade unions and the association of workers because they, uh, they uh, are understanding that the organization is not doing uh, uh, justice to us and uh, they are not giving us a fair and justifiable uh, remuneration and a, a justifiable amount to uh, in return of our efforts and our contribution. Uh, unrealistic is all about uh, because it is totally based on the assumptions and uh, the esti estimation of a person. So, somehow it uh, sometimes it may uh, not looks, uh, look like uh, uh, realistic or uh, it, it looks like unrealistic means uh, for what reason and what are the personality trait and what are the traits that you are going to consider consider while fixing the worth of a job. So, somehow it uh, sometimes it, it is uh, it looks like unrealistic and problem of adjustment is all about like uh, uh, if one individual is uh, feeling that whatever the equity or whatever the amount he or she is getting in relation to other in relation to the amount that is basically uh, gained by another employee that is basically high means one is comparing that my worth is not as as other employees or other uh, other one are getting so somehow it is a it is it gives a feel to the employees that they are uh, they are not the organization is not doing justice to them and somehow it is it creates a problem of adjustment because uh, those employees obviously will have a perception that uh, they uh, are not uh, the organization is not doing justice to them and somehow uh, they will not give their 100 percent productivity in attainment of the goal of the objective. So, these are some of the demerits associated with job evaluation. The next uh, important one associated with the topic like job evaluation is the first one is quali qualitative method and second one is quantitative method. The name itself refers qualitative method means uh, these methods basically uh, does not require any sort of calculation or the formula and uh, uh, these methods are basically uh, adopted by uh, a human resource manager by using his or her concept or uh, concept conceptual skills and analytical skills while determining the worth of a particular job. And the second one is quantitative method is all about uh, uh, involvement of certain sort of calculation and uh, using of formulas. So, uh, just have a discussion on these methods one by one. So, the first method come under qualitative method is ranking method. So, ranking method is the name itself refers that in this method each and every uh, job uh, of the organization is basically uh, compared to one another 
and uh, accordingly uh, they are being given ranked by the concerned person or by the human resource manager and all uh, basically the highest rank and the re these uh, ranks are basically given in sequence like hardest to uh, easiest and the highest to lowest and accordingly uh, their worth uh, will be set out by the human resource manager like in the example we are able to see that the post like office manager, uh, chief nurse, nurse attendant and cook in terms of uh, the performance or in terms of the importance of uh, uh, their post if we see office manager is obviously uh, playing the important role as comparison to chief nurse and chief nurse is obviously somehow more responsible uh, comparison to the nurses available in the or, uh, hospitals or in the organization and the next attendant and the next one is cook means uh, the ranking is being done on the basis of the importance of uh, all the jobs available in the organization and the highest the rank means uh, that job obviously uh, should be given more amount as comparison to the lowest one because that is more important in terms of the uh, performance of the activities in the organization and uh, by doing so the organization will obviously helps its uh, help itself in achieving the objective or achieving the uh, goal that uh, they are carrying basically. So, ranking method the name itself refers that in this method ranking is being done and ranking of what? Ranking of all the jobs available in the organization in terms of importance uh, of that particular job and that sequence or that ranking is being done either in the ascending order or in the descending order and accordingly what rank first that requires or that needs more uh, more compensation or more amount as comparison to the lowest one. So, uh, it is uh, obviously a simple method because you have to give a rank only all the jobs available. The second method come under qualitative method is grading method and in ranking method we have seen also that there is no requirement of any calculation. You have to give a rank means all the jobs are assembled together and you have to give rank from highest to lowest on the basis of the importance of the availability of the job. So, the next one is grading method. Grading method is more appropriate as comparison to a ranking method because ranking method is uh, used by uh, basically small uh, companies those who are whose size is small and they are not operating in uh, big numbers of uh, workforce or big number of employees. But uh, in large organization it is not difficult to rank all the employees available in the organization and it, it is basically it becomes a difficult task for a human resource manager if uh, the organization is adopting this particular method for fixing the worth of a particular job. So, in order to get rid of uh, the problems associated with the ranking method. The second method is basically grading method. It, this particular method is also known as classification method. A job grade is basically uh, a group of different jobs of similar, similar difficulty or requiring similar skills to perform them. Job grades are determined on the basis of information derived from job analysis. Job analysis basically gives an idea to the human resource manager about the duties and responsibility and the skill set required in order to perform that job. So, all the same skill set and the same duties and responsibilities are basically grade into a particular uh, grade and a particular class and, and all those employees who lie or who stands who related to that particular class that those all are eligible to, uh, to get the same amount means the human resource manager basically fix the same amount uh, of all the post lying on that particular yeah, relating to that particular class. Like uh, if we see the example like class 1 executives, the exec executives rank includes the employees like uh, or uh, includes uh, the job like office manager, deputy office, office superintendent and class 2 like skilled workers like they are having the knowledge of uh, uh, what uh, they require some sort of skill not so much, but uh, they require some sort of skills like uh, the job uh, like a purchasing assistant, cashier, receipt clerk, class 3 semi skilled and if we talk about class 4 employees, class 4 employees related to 
less skilled worker like office boys. Office boys are those who does not require a specific skill or some sort of skills. Basically, they uh, there is a requirement of what physical efforts in order to complete or in order to justify the job for what uh, they have been hired. So, all the jobs are basically not being given rank. All the jobs are basically classified into different grades or into different classes and all the jobs related to a particular grade related to a particular class accordingly the both are being set in the same manner by the human resource manager. So, it is all about grading method. The next one is point rating method. Point rating method come under quantitative method. So, jobs are broke down based on the factors like skill, efforts, training, knowledge, the hazardous things that they have to face out while performing the job and the sense of responsibility and the level of responsibility that they have to show while performing the job. So, these are basically some of the factors that should be considered consider while using this particular method and each factor will be given a particular weight and accordingly uh, their worth is being set out means uh, obviously, if we are going to fix a uh, uh, worth of, uh, of a manager. So, obviously, manager requires some specific skill or uh, he or she must be competent and expertise in a particular field or in a particular skill. If for straining knowledge and hazardous responsibility, so sense of responsibility. So, obviously, we see that we have to give a weight means uh, all the points are basically like a skill uh, if we are giving 10 uh, and efforts, efforts obviously manager requires more efforts in managing the complexity or managing any uncertainty arising in the organization training that uh, requires training in order to perform the assigned duties and responsibility must having knowledge how to perform the managerial activities. Hazardous things we can say in that we can say uh, less number on that because uh, the manager has not face any uh, type of technical activity does not require any uh, sort of technical activity. So, we in that we can give less point and responsibility obviously that manager is responsible for managing all the activities of any enterprise or, or of any organization. So, that requires more number. So, all these points or all these number are calculated and the sum of points given an index of the relative significance of the job that are rated and accordingly the fix of that particular job is being uh, done by the human resource manager. The next method come under quantitative method is factor comparison method. Instead of ranking complete jobs, each job is ranked according to a series of factors. These factors include mental efforts, skill needed responsibility, working conditions. These are basically the factors on which this particular method is being calculated. Pay will be assigned in this method by comparing the weight of the factors required for each job and wages are assigned in to the job in comparison to its ranking on each job factor like skill. If we uh, uh, see a role of a manager, the same example obviously uh, uh, that uh, he or she he or she basically requires more skill as comparison to uh, the other uh, other skills. So whatever the importance of uh, the role and the factors, accordingly the worth of being. Uh, fixed uh, by using this particular method. So, in totality we can say that in this particular method a certain factors or a series of factors is being considered like efforts, skill needed, responsibility, working condition and pay will be assigned to this method by comparing all the weights given to all the factors available or the considered factors and wages are assigned in comparison uh, to the job in comparison to its ranking. Uh, which was given by the human resource manager on each job factor. So, the next important one is process of job, job evaluation. So, first one is gaining acceptance, the second one is creating job evaluation committee, finding the job to be evaluated, analyzing the preparing job description, selecting the method of job evaluation, classify jobs, installing the program, reviewing periodically. So, just have a discussion on uh, all the steps one by one. So, the first one is gaining acceptance. Top management must explain the aim and use of the program to the employee and the unions means uh, if the organization is going to uh, be perform the function of job uh, evaluation. So, top management must support uh, this particular task because uh, their uh, acceptance or their uh, uh, basically uh, 
acceptance of their yes basically um, means a lot before going further in order to perform or in order to fix out the worth of a particular job. The next one is creating the job committee means uh, because uh, as I told earlier that job evaluation process is or function is not performed by any individual it is performed by a group of people. So, the group of people or the committee includes the member like experienced employee we can hire the organization can hire the expert from outside and some of the members really uh, of uh, some of the members from union representatives they all are combined working together in order to fix out the worth of a particular job. The next one obviously the word purpose means finding the job to be evaluated means which job the these com this particular committee is uh, has to evaluate in order to fix out the worth of that job. The next one is analyzing and preparing job description because in order to fix uh, the worth of any job firstly the committee should understand or the member of the committee should understand which type of uh, the duties and responsibility requires in order to perform that job and which skill set also uh, should be possessed by an individual so that that individual can perform that particular jobs. So, uh, that uh, duties and responsibility and the skill set and the experience that is required for performing that job that uh, gives an idea to a human resource manager for going further in order to fix out the worth of the job. The next one is electing the method of evaluation obviously uh, uh, we have discussed earlier job evaluation method whether you have to use being a human resource manager you have to use either uh, qualitative method analytical me non analytical method and analytical method. Next classify jobs means obviously it is not uh, uh, easy to uh, give uh, or a rank to each and every job available in the organization. So, all the jobs you have to classify into certain grades or into certain classification and weights can be assigned to each such factor when finally, add all the weights the worth of a job is determined. The next one is reviewing periodically means uh, uh, whatever the worth that you have set out obviously for a particular job that is not basically fixed that should be reviewed periodically. So, uh, that uh, you can also be matched up with the change in the environment condition like the change due to technology due to uh, introduction of a new product due to the services. So, that should be reviewed periodically so that you can uh, give a sense about the justice and uh, 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 suitable uh, wage or uh, the remuneration policy to the employees. So, new job description need to be written and the skills new uh, means whatever the changes found in, in the scenario that should be consideration from time to time. So, that accordingly the uh, uh, worth of a particular job is being fixed by a human resource manager in the organization. If you want uh, more information about that you just go through these references and that is all in this video lecture I hope you will like this. Thank you students.